Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's alright this morning. Um, today's Thursday, March 17th. Already halfway through March. A little bit more. Wow. Time flies. Uh, currently it's 47 degrees. It feels cold in here for some reason. I guess it is cold in here. Uh, high 67 degrees today. That's good. 30% chance of rain. It's already been raining out there. I don't, it's not right now though. Humidity 93%. No wind. And air quality is 61. That's moderate. Okay. Today I'll have a taste test with Mike. Um, came from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those Fast Bites cheeseburgers. So I uh, Watch me when I check that one out. And there'll be an Ask My Tablet today. Y'all sent the questions in, so we were able to do another. Well, I was able to do another Ask My Tablet. So keep them questions coming in, everyone, so we can do more of those. If you haven't watched Ask My Tablet yet, please check it out um, today. I think you'll really like it. It's interesting, informative, uh, a lot of information, you can learn something, it's fun, all kinds of different things. Um, and we had, ch I fixed chicken fajitas and Spanish rice last night. I used that, uh, I got these fajita mixture from uh, frozen foods at Walmart it's it was great value and I don't know if they're still going to carry it because it was marked clearance or something like that so I got it for like four bucks I think it's like six something regular or more um, there's enough for two meals it was what's good and I don't know if they're just changing the packaging maybe or if they're not going to carry it anymore at Walmart but uh, we had I had some leftover shredded lettuce so I went ahead and put lettuce on them it was good that way and I fixed that nor Spanish rice mix and it was really good really good everything was good here's what it looked like before I folded it up okay Wow, how many's on here? There we go. There it is. Okay. Tonight is going to be a freezer meal night. I'm going to, we've got some pierogies we need to eat. And I think I've got, I know I've got them. I don't know if, that, if we're going to have this one for sure. But we plan on having a, it's a chicken, it's Hormel chicken and gravy. It's got like three pieces of chicken in it with gravy. And I thought we'd have that with it, would go good with the pierogies. And I'm not for sure, another vegetable, some kind. Okay. Today I have a morning coffee break taste test. And I'm trying, as you've seen in the thumbnail, Millville Chocolatey Bliss Pasty Pastry Crisp. It's kind of hard to say. Millville Chocolatey Bliss Pastry Crisp. And let's see what the nutrition facts are like on this one. Okay, there's two crisp in a package, so it says serving size two crisp. Uh, calories 100, total fat 2 grams, that's only 3%, a half a gram of saturated fats, 3%, no trans fat, no cholesterol, uh, sodium 60 milligrams, it's 3%, that's low, 19 grams of carbs is 7%, no fiber, 8 grams of sugar, and 8 grams of added sugar, 16%, 1 gram of protein, and that's it. 2% of iron also. This is product of Netherlands. I didn't know that. That's cool. 
And of course, this is Aldi from Aldi Millville. Uh, you can see Kellogg's makes uh, a pastry crisp. I'm not for sure if they make this or not, but um, they're quite a lot more expensive than this. I think these were, I, now I can't remember. I think they were less than $2. I know they were less than $2. So, there's 10 of them in here, so there's five packages. Which way are you supposed to open it? Uh, so, here's what the package looks like. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Looks good. There's a little layer of chocolate in there. Mm. Well, they're obviously not bad for you. They're not overly sweet. I like that. So I can taste the chocolate. Mmm. Crispy. Not hard. Crispy. Mmm. Great with coffee. Mm. Nice and light. No synthetic colors or artificial flavors. And just a hundred calories. That's really good. Wow. I really like those. I think the last one I had was that I tried was blueberry and it was fantastic. This is too. Um, great light thing to have, you know, if you weren't, weren't super, super hungry, I mean, um, it'd be great to have on the go um, if you didn't have time to fix something great with the coffee I mean it'd be good with anything you drink I guess for breakfast I don't know uh, chocolate and orange juice might not go together too good but <laughs> anyway I, I give it a five out of five I'm very I'm impressed with the nutrition facts and the calories to be a a sweet type thing but it's not real sweet it's it's enough to to make you think mm, that's you know it's kind of sweet but not to where you'd be like you know that's just too sweet it's perfect so definitely if you have an Aldi get you some of those um, I don't know if there are any other off brands of it out there um, but I know special uh, I don't know if it's called special K but I know Kellogg's has one that's a pastry crisp but it's it's a lot more. It's probably twice as much as this one. Okay. But they're very similar, so I don't know if they make them like I said or not. Okay, time for today's tidbits, everyone. What causes acid rain? 
Acid rain or acid deposition is any form of precipitation with acidic com components. It occurs when toxic sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxide gas emitted by volcanic eruptions or factories mixed with water or oxygen molecules in the atmosphere and produce acid. Acid rain can make soil or water bodies uninhabitable for living beings. Hmm. Rock music fan wears costume to clear snow in New York. <laughs> a Kiss fan wore a costume and blasted music while clearing the snow in Endicott, New York. Tommy Sedlock, dressed as Gene Simmons, the bassist and singer of the rock band Kiss, drew attention from his neighbors as he cleared the snow. The video of the local drummer Snow clearing efforts went viral and got noticed by the rock star himself. <laughs> what does wet bulb globe temperature mean? Over the years, various tools have been developed to measure the effect of heat on the body. Wet bulb globe temperature is one of them. It is a measure of the heat stress in du direct sunlight. WBGT uses several factors like temperature, humidity, wind speed, sun angle, and cloud cover. Nowadays, the most familiar is the heat index. Sweden is home to these giant rock kettles. There are several troll kettles or giant pots in Sweden's Tararp tar region. These so-called kettles are actually water holes created in the solid rock. These several inches wide holes are filled with murky water. The troll kettles formed 11,000 years ago when the massive force of the rushing meltwater from the ice sheet created holes in the rock. Huh. But they're only several inches wide? How do you call them? Giant pots. <laughs> if they're several inches. Okay. Saharan dust storm swirls across Europe for the second day. A huge dust storm from the Sahara Desert swirling over Europe made it hard to breathe in large parts of Spain for a second straight day on Wednesday. The dust storm also dumped ochre-colored blobs on cars in a rainy Paris. Experts described the event as extraordinary for the amount of dust in the air but said it had not broken any records. Get your garden ready for spring. That's what I've been trying to do. It's been raining for a few days. Your garden will be waking up from the cold winter as spring arrives. So here's what you can do to get your garden ready for spring. Sharpen and prepare garden tools <coughs> that have been packed away all winter. Remove dead leaves and add a fresh layer of mulch to your garden beds. Also prune trees and shrubs before they have new growth in early spring. Snow cover in the U.S. drops by 25% in just 72 hours. According to the NWS Weather Prediction Center, snow cover in the continental United States dropped over 25% in just 72 hours. Snow cover in the region was 45.1% on Saturday, but it fell to 19.7% coverage on Tuesday due to rapidly warming temperatures. Experts say longer days and an increasing sun angle also accelerated the snow melt process. NASA astronaut sets record for being 341 days in space. NASA astronaut, astronaut Mark Vandy Hay has been in space for 341 days, setting a new record for the longest U.S. space flight. He contributed to many studies, including six science investigations by NASA's Human Research Program during his time in space. He will return to Earth on March 30 on a Russian Soyuz spacecraft, by which time he will log 355 days on ISS. Why are there more northern light sightings this year? Our sun goes through an 11-year cycle of increased activity when solar flares and coronal mass ejections are frequent. This results in the increased sighting of northern lights or the auroras. In winter 2022, there were some spectacular auroral displays in the sky, even in lower lat latitudes like northern England, indicating increased solar activity. Now check this one out. 
U.S. to end daylight savings time, Senate approves act. Yay! On Tuesday, the Senate unanimous, unanimously approved the Sunshine Protection Act to make daylight saving time permanent in the U.S. The bill ensures that Americans need not change their clocks twice a year anymore. It needs approval from President Biden to become a law. For years, many have argued that changing a clock twice a year is unnecessary. And it is. It's, it's, I've always thought that was silly. All right, that's it, everybody, for today's tidbits. And that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll get some of these and try them out. If you don't think you'd like the chocolate, check the blueberry. I think, I think that's the only two flavors they got. They might have another one. But uh, they're both really good. If you don't like chocolate, maybe you like blueberry. Uh, or vice versa. So, uh, everybody, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody, later on, be looking for and taste test with Mike, a Fast Bites cheeseburger. I was surprised when I looked at it, you'll see, and Ask My Tablet. So everybody, if you haven't watched Ask My Tablet, definitely check that out. It's one that uh, is totally different from anything you'll see anywhere else. I don't know if I've seen anybody ever do anything like that. Seems like when I first started, I saw someone do something similar to it. And then uh, much later, I, I tried, I just did my, my version of it. But that's been about three and a half years ago. And I haven't ever seen it since. But um, like I said, you, I think you'll like it if you've never watched it before. So thanks again, everybody, and have a great day, and God bless.